Hey guys, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm working on a John Deere 345 riding lawnmower. Uh, it's got the Kawasaki V Twin engine on it. The engine is a FD 611V. And what we're working on today is the <coughs> the charging system. Uh, when you crank the mower while it was running, you would notice that the battery light was on. Uh, which indicates a problem with the battery or the charging system, something of that nature. So uh, the first thing I do uh, when I see that, I make sure the battery terminals are clean, uh, the battery cable terminals are clean, everything's nice and clean. Uh, put some, you know, I charge the battery, I load test the battery. I make sure it's not something simple going on right here. Uh, well, I did that, so I know it's not the battery. I know the battery's good. Uh, I know the cables and the connections are clean. I know all that's good. Uh, so if I got a charging problem, uh, the next thing I suspect is the voltage regulator. And what the voltage regulator does, the engine, underneath the flywheel, there's a coil, and there's a bunch of magnets on the inside of the flywheel uh, underneath it. And as the flywheel spins, it causes a charge, an AC charge, uh, to come out of that coil, which is called the stator. And so first thing you want to do is make sure the engine is putting out AC voltage going to the voltage regulator. Well, the first thing you need to do is find the voltage regulator. Where is it? Where is it mounted? And on this particular mower, this John Deere 345, the voltage regulator was mounted down here. This is the battery. This is the battery tray right here. It's mounted behind the battery tray. There's one of the studs right there, but it's mounted to the back of this metal plate. So you got to go down in here you got to take the battery out and go down in here and take off two 10 millimeter nuts. And once you get the voltage regulator loose, you want to drop it down below this and pull it out the front underneath this battery tray and pull it out right here. Uh, this is the harness that goes to the voltage regulator. I've got it unplugged, but you want access to this because this is where you're going to be checking the system. Uh, once you get this out, uh, you want to check for voltage AC coming out of the engine and the way you do that right here at this plug the ac out is this big brown wire with the white stripe and the big brown wire with the yellow stripe and you want to set your meter to ac volts right there the v with the squiggly line over it that's ac volts and you want to put one lead on the brown wire with the white stripe right here and the other lead on the other side, the brown wire with the yellow stripe. So it will look like this. Let me stick them in there real quick. And I'm not going to crank it up. I'm just going to show you how to do this. And if I can get that in there. And that's where you want to check for your AC voltage coming out of the engine. And while the engine is running and your, in, your meter is set to AC volts, you should have... <coughs> 26 27 up to 36 37 volts ac coming out of the engine well i did that so i know my stator is working and i know i got voltage going to the voltage regulator this is the voltage regulator it plugs onto that uh, well you can't just say okay i know my stator is working i know the voltage regulator is the problem and order one because the next step you need to do you need to make sure if AC voltage is making it to the voltage regulator, if the voltage regulator is trying to put out DC voltage to the battery, you want to make sure you have a path from here to the battery. You want to make sure, you know, if the voltage regulator is working, there's not a problem somewhere in the wire harness, a circuit breaker, a blown fuse, an open circuit, something somewhere else that's causing a problem. And to do that, you just want to make sure you have a solid path from here to the battery terminals. And the way you do that, set your meter to continuity, that little emblem right there. And first we'll check the ground circuit. And on this side, the ones on the outside are the AC coming in. You flip the plug over and this black wire and that red wire are the, the circuits going to the battery. So let's check the black one first, the ground. You wanna make sure you have a path from this wire right here to the battery. So we're gonna put a terminal in there, a probe rather, right there. We're gonna set our meter, we got it to continuity. And then when you touch these together, 
it will beep. So I'm gonna go up here and touch this. That's the black wire, so that's ground. I'm gonna go up here and touch this to the ground terminal and it's beeping. So I know I got a solid path from here to there. Now I wanna make sure I got a, a continuity on the positive side. So I'm gonna put one meter lead. Hang on a minute. It's hard to do with one. Now I'm gonna put one in there with the red wire. Now I'm gonna go up here and touch the other lead to the terminal on the positive cable. I'm not getting a good contact down here. Let me play with that a bit. And it's beeping, so I know I've got a good path between this black wire and the ground terminal that goes to the battery and the red wire down here to the positive terminal on the battery. So I know if I had a good voltage regulator on here, I got AC voltage getting to it and I got a good path going from it, going to the battery. So I have confirmed that my problem is the voltage regulator. Uh, so I just need to order a new voltage regulator and put it on and the problem will be fixed. Uh, but you always wanna make sure, take however many steps you need to make sure the part you're ordering is gonna fix the problem. You don't wanna order a part, put it on, and oh crap, that didn't do it, something else is wrong. Always try your best to confirm that once you get that part and put it on, you're gonna be done. Anyway, that's my video for today. I gotta get back to work. Catch me later.